everyone. Welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, September 7th, 2022 by Gaia Cleaning. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I find peace between the me that I am right now and the me that I am becoming. And today we have an in conjunct not seeing eye to eye, <laughs> energies between Sun in Virgo and Chiron in Aries. And this is definitely a very interesting in conjunct to me. And I think it brings to light something that so many of us probably struggle with. Um, you know, Virgo can bring forth, among all of its layers, perfectionist issues. And that's definitely something I've worked through in my family. Um, and meanwhile, Chiron in Aries is helping us heal who we are. And part of healing who we are is embracing ourselves as perfect, even with our so-called imperfections. What is perfection anyway, right? Um, this is a call to embrace yourself where you're at while knowing that where you're at is part of a larger journey, a larger unfolding, taking you to a larger unfolding of yourself. So being okay in the present where you are at and recognize that even where you're at has layers to peel off that are have been part of your journey but aren't necessarily part of your true authentic self. <laughs> and embracing the becoming of you. So this energy is very uncomfortable because we have a lot of shoulds. We have a lot of conditioning energy out there that's like, oh, you should do this better or you should be this. I always love, I don't remember the word, it, the verbiage, the wording of it, but, um, you know, if you ask a fish to climb a tree, it's gonna fail right like we all have our special gifts our special talents we're not all made to do the same things well I always bring this up as part of the spectrum embracing our in individual color <laughs> our individual frequency that we bring to the spectrum and that's the second part of the astro today the moon in Aquarius reminding us your frequency is so divine the universe digs it <laughs> for real um it's so funny what was the song joy of my life by chris stapleton came on right before i was recording and i love that song right now because how does that feel to be like you are the joy of my life but that's the universe to each of us every day like can i tell you something you are the joy of my life. You are the apple of my infinite eyes. <laughs> That's from the universe right now. So embracing that. And it doesn't mean that we can't heal, that we can't evolve, we can't shift, we can't become so-called better. But it's recognizing the juiciness, the wonderfulness of you, of your essence in this moment. And again, that's a hard thing for us as humans because we've all got this stuff, right? We've all got this stuff going on, but that's definitely part of the work today. Um, moon in Aquarius, like I said, embracing the spectrum, connecting to Jupiter, uh, Jupiter in Aries. Jupiter in Aries is like, oh my gosh, please show up. Please show up even bigger. <laughs> um, thinking of, you know, another meme says like you're too much then go find less be your too much self show up as you are too much as you are truly yourself the right energies will come into alignment with you and trust in that the right energies dig you all the way like the universe digs you <laughs> so there's that connection um Moon connecting to Mercury. Mercury and Libra preparing to go retrograde this Friday. Um, we got some really strong air energy. Our next connection is actually Moon connecting to Mars. So we have kind of a wide grand trine in air going on. So that can feel a little, a little breezy. Um, communications may be a little crazy, but 
genius ideas coming through. Um, as we make connections with others, we may... Uh, that doesn't work. <laughs> Blow smoke on each other. That doesn't work. That doesn't compute. Um, fan each other's flames. There we go. That's that is a much better way of saying that. Fan each other's ideas. Fan each other's flames in and through this energy. Uh, definitely a lot of connection going on in and through this energy. Watch for comparison. I don't have the comparison card, but I'm just feeling that. Sometimes we can look at others and be like, ah, oh, they've got it figured out. They've got it going on. They're where they're meant to be. You're where you, you are meant to be. Remember that when you come into a place of comparison and see again, if you like an energy that somebody's bringing, how can that fan your flames <laughs> rather than, you know, sink your battleship? Oh, I'm not, I'm not as good. I'm not where they're at. Good. You're not meant to be. Fan your flames. <laughs> There's fanning of the flames happening, happening today. Um, yeah. So let's leave that there. Let's look at these other cards. Okay. Speaking of that, right? The inner child. I think we all got some comparison when we were younger, whether it was a teacher or a parent or something. Watch for that. Watch for where you do that to yourself, where you're still doing that to your inner child energy. Uh, slowing down, taking time to get grounded, like I said, this air energy, while it's chock full of ideas, it can really Tarzan you <laughs> quite a bit. Taking time to get grounded means that you're not going to jump on some errant vine. That is not your vine to jump on, right? <laughs> um, I love this, the flowering card. This feels so beautiful with this connection between the sun and Chiron. So much healing available to us. And as we heal, we go in, we flower. But the final card is tune in. This is going to definitely require some inner work. And we may not necessarily feel like doing that with all the air energy swishing and swirling around. I will say air energy brings change. And hopefully this change is what you've been needing for your next level. But even if it's not, that's okay. Because where you're at is beautiful and divine. Um, I had a request. How is Joe doing? Joe is doing really well, I think, uh, personally. <laughs> he got his stitches out last week from his surgery. His scar looks amazing. We've been gifted some lovely things included, uh, including essential oils that he's been putting on his scar, and it has healed him amazingly. I can't believe it's only been a week since he got his stitches out, and I was looking just and I looked at it the other day and was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> wow, you are healing amazingly. So thank you for all the good thoughts and keep them up and all of your generosity. I cannot say thank you nearly enough. So thank you again. Um, besides that, you can always book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. Namaste.